Great fight. <laughs> back for more here tonight and he's so comfortable in the striking realm it's almost like he started kickboxing before he ever was reading or writing oh it's unbelievable to see someone that's so comfortable under so much duress i know when you're in kickboxing range you are in the fire there is no safety you're right in range to be getting knocked out but he does not fear that he loves it he loves the he loves the combat he loves the engagement but what you have to understand is he's not engaging his opponent on their turn. He's doing it on his turn. Whether or not he wants to be in close with the big punches or he wants to be at range landing kicks, he's just constantly putting damage on you. Top, bottom, up, low, it does not matter. This guy is a dominant striker. One of the best kickboxers the UFC has ever seen. And in terms of the punching technique and the jab, as good as anyone in this division. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Chief. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Levine. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out United Center in Chicago, Illinois. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Kiev, Ukraine, mystery. And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. They touch him up, and we are underway. Are you ready? Are you ready? All right, so lofty expectations for this matchup as round one gets underway. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but on the other, truly a fighter who can do it. And that guy will usually have the advantage on paper. When you're a striker at this guy's level, that will normally balance out whatever advantage the other guy has. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. Really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. What a tricky head kick. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Already closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Oh, and he caught the kick. Beautiful punch. Ooh, head 
kick lands, he's hurt. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Big hooks. Oh. Table inches right there, Damn. boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Got the single collar tie. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Three minutes to go. Good punch, Lance. Try to establish that jab. Head kick lands. Lee's shot there is blocked. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Nice body kick. That landed. Back and forth we go. Big punch lands through the middle. Nice. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Look at the turtle in that kick. That right hand hurt him a little bit. And he landed the right hand there. There's no kill on that leg kick. In the tie clinch, look for the knees to start. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Kick to the body now, that one won't land. Big kick lands. Telegraph that spinning back fist. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Well, a lot of people think he might have the best jab in this division, certainly using it effectively here. I mean, one of the best jabs in the world across all combat sports. The way that it just comes out, it's beautiful. The backside hand is always at the chin. The elbows tucked to the ribs. The jab goes out, the jab comes right back to the face. It's picture-perfect technique, almost like a Taibo class or something like that. Big head kick lands. Lunch. A big, massive hook that really has put his opponent on skates. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. Big kick land. Just out of range with that right hand. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. Second round underway. Oh, man. You jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did because I have times where I've been kicked like that. And I'm going to tell you one thing. It does not feel good. 
Oh, well done to block that powerful kick to the body. Oh, man, his leg kicks are outstanding, and you saw a great example of that just there. And you see his opponent starting to slow down. He cannot take many of those kicks. He lands the right hand. Circling towards the left now. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. Oh, collar tie. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they... Coleman, now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. He's coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Nice punch lands over the top. shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Checks the leg kick. Oh, that's a nice strike. Three minutes. How good is that right hand? Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. how he stayed up there. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, to stay standing shows and talks to your toughness. Trying to stay in this fight! As he gets close and he's out of the kicking range, he'll, he'll change his stance. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Still stand. I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. It might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite strike. Oh, man. And that is as good as it gets. The problem is the opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. Here, DC. What a way to switch the position. Fantastic movement by the bottom fighter. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground side. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. Close guard, lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Lee. Well, he gets up again here, but he looks hurt. Oh, single collar tie here. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Well, he's looking for that left hand. Just out of range, though, with it. Ooh, big shot lands. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. 20 seconds to go round two. Lanza, glancing right hand upstairs. Ten minutes in the books.
to step up with the pressure on him. All right, there's the end of the round. We'll show you some of the highlights. It must feel pretty damn good to knock a man down like that. It feels good to knock a man down. And most times, you don't even feel it. It's the ones that you don't even recognize that landed hard are the ones that usually put your opponent out. It landed right on the sweet spot, and he hurt his opponent very badly. Third round underway. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Oh, and he connects. history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. All right, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight, but don't ignore all the work he did with his hands and give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way, and in order to get a fight of the night like he got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. All right, Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Bruce. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at 21 seconds of round number three. Playing the winner by knockout history. Right, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And that would be nice sometimes with all the hard work that you guys put in when it goes down exactly the way you do it. A lot of people talk about doing certain things. It's harder to deliver on those promises you make to the public. Tonight, he did exactly that. Congratulations. I got to check and say less. Don't you know everything live now? If it ain't put it to press, is it something about?